this is Jody from Poppy Winkle, and I'm the first to admit there is nothing more exciting than opening the mailbox and finding a brand new little package of stickers. Yay! But that's not what we're about. We're about DIY. We're about creativity. And so I worked this week on all the ways I could think of to make stickers. And I'm going to tell you what I found out. I'm going to show you where to find the images. I'm going to tell you about how to cut them out, lots of different ways for all these things, and how to make them sticky. So let's do it. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to make these awesome stamps. They have an adhesive on the back that you just lick and stick, just like a regular stamp. And, well, an old-fashioned regular stamp. So I printed them out and then I used a recipe which I'll put in the description and it's mostly gelatin but this is what it looks like. It's a gooey sticky lickable stickiness and you can use it to to close envelopes. You um you can store it in the refrigerator and it gets hard like this. And then you put it in the microwave for 20 seconds at the most for this little amount. Because otherwise it bubbles up and makes a mess, which I've experienced. I hope I said 20 seconds, not 20 minutes to cook this. Because it's absolutely 20 seconds. So now I was in. it was in the microwave, 20 seconds, and it's all sloshy now. And now you can... Just coat the back. And so I'm not going to have you watch that the whole time, but you just do it like that. Then you let it dry. And then it looks like this on the back. So you can sort of, you can see it probably from here, but you can definitely see it in real life. And then what you want to do is you want to, I already trimmed the sides and the edges just so it's quicker. And you want your ruler and your tracing wheel. If you have a tracing wheel from sewing, this is so easy to do. I think it's like 249 if you don't have one. And so you have these rippable stamps. I used this before on tickets I was making and it is so fun and easy. So there you have how to make stamps. I got the images. Some of them I made but some of them I got from Wikipedia Commons, which is really nice because they have all the information about rights and, you know, it's mostly public domain stuff, but it tells you exactly whether you're allowed to share it or not or use it, what you're allowed to use it for. Because I'm very fussy about, <laughs> about what I can use and what I can't use, especially when when I'm sharing it with other people. So anyway, then I, after I cut it out and then I inked the edges a little bit. So that's how I made those stamps. And the thing to remember about your printables is you can always print them at a different size. When I went to make this postcard, I wanted a smaller stamp than I had printed out and so I printed it again and I just printed it at I think it was 54 percent so when you're when you're in your print dialogue you can change the size of any printable you have so I made this stamp to fit this postcard these images I got from Heritage Library um, I will leave a link for that I printed them on sticker paper and then I cut them out using my Cricut. And so sticker paper, you can pull it away 
and then it sticks. I'm fully aware that most people don't have crickets. And another way you can do it if you don't want the sticker paper and you don't have a cricket is you print it on paper just like this and then you cut it out with scissors and then you use the same glue I just showed you about on the back. So you still have a very cool sticker. Another way to get images is to find something you already have that's pretty and cut it into a circle or whatever kind of punch you have. This is a circle punch. And so these are, that's from a garden catalog I got in the mail. I think all of these are. And this was a piece of pretty paper I had that had some nice glitter on it. And so with these, I just cut out with the punch and I put on the back the, um, the glue that I made, that sticky glue that you lick to put down. And then on these, I ran it through a sticker maker I have. This is old. They don't make exactly like this anymore, but Xyron has sticker makers and they're very cool. You put something in this side. This is from a box of tea. Celestial Seasonings tea. They're always so pretty. And then you pull it out this way. Oh, I didn't push it down enough. There we go. And then you just rub it a little to make sure all the sticky goes on it. And then you peel it off. And that's a sticker. So cool. <laughs> Another thing I did using those is I took, I took those other stickers I made, or those other images from the Heritage Library. I printed them out on paper and then I cut them out and then I put them through the same thing. I put them through the sticker maker. Another thing I put through the sticker maker is some flowers. These coral bells are in my yard right now and I pressed them for not probably long enough, a couple days. And then I put that through the sticker maker and now you just have to peel them up and they'll stick right down, which is nice because it's hard to stick all those tiny little pieces down. It's hard to glue all those tiny little pieces. So that's another thing. Another way to get some images is to stamp. So I stamped these images on craft paper you know, with a rubber stamp and then some of them I left blank and some of them I filled in and then I put the glue on the back of some of them, the gelatin glue, and then others I ran through the sticker maker. So that's another way to get some images. Another way to cut out stamps is if you have one of those dies, sometimes stamps come with die cuts and that would be so ideal. I don't have any of those, but that would be so ideal. So that way you don't have to cut around the whole thing by hand. So that's, that's a great way to get a sticker image. These were from Wikipedia Commons and I searched decorative borders because I like something at the at the top of the page and so I printed them on vellum and vellum is notoriously fussy about glue so to put vellum printed vellum on a sticker paper is really helpful because then if you want to put it in a book you just see I like a little a little decoration up here you just peel it off and you don't have to worry about the glue wrinkling up your vellum. 
And so you just stick it up there, all pretty. And then you have a nice little decorative border on your page. So that sticker machine, that Xyron sticker machine is excellent for vellum. A couple other ways to get some images. I know Library of Congress, I'll leave a link to that. They have some good stuff. If you search online for free printable stickers, there's some gorgeous things out there, but be careful because a lot of that stuff is copyright protected and you shouldn't be using it. So pay attention to that. Also, you can buy really, really cute sticker images on Etsy. Another way to cut things out is a craft knife. And I think that's all my ideas. I hope you got some great ones. Thanks for watching.